All right, so now we have the stage built. Now we're gonna actually craft the whole entire scene around it. So we're gonna add some trees, we're gonna add some clouds, we're gonna add a message above it, that we're gonna add some cute little animals. Uh, this is where we're gonna really bring the whole scene to life. And we're just gonna hammer through it. Um, we're just gonna kind of wrap it up in this in this little tutorial. So fasten your seatbelts, uh, cause we're about to take a, a, a adventure into nature. All right, so before we start setting our scene, there is a few things we need to do. Just to recap, you know, we have our scene uh, kind of saying tap on me, showing that it's interactable and you click on it and uh, we open up and there's the box uh, or the stage that we're gonna set the scene around. So let's come back out. I, I need to hide, or we need to hide the, uh, the solid cube because we're gonna create everything on top of this little stage and we're gonna hide the pointer. Uh, now, if I hit Shift F again, I zoom in. And now I'm gonna add some assets from our starter assets. Um, I really, really love, I mean, all of our star assets are fun, but this origami forest pack is super charming. Uh, it's got some cute animals that have animations, it has some trees, it's some sun and so forth. Um, I love it. We're going to use it, but I really like this tree more. So I'm going to use this pine tree. I'm going to drop it in there. Looks great. Uh, I'm going to move it over to the side um, and I'm going to move it back. I'm just going to kind of fill this space with, with the pine tree um, and I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to create another one. And when I duplicate it, it just sets it right in a, underneath it. And I did that by clicking this button here. So now we have two. Now I'm gonna slide this over here. Um, I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit and I may adjust the scale. So let's go 0.16. Oh, that's too big. 0.12. There we go. Um, and that looks good. So let me do another tree. I'll duplicate it, slide it over. And this one will go a little higher. 0.14. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. Um, if I grab all these, I could duplicate them at one time. So they're all duplicated. I'll slide them out. Um, that looks good. Um, you know, if I was getting really picky, this rig is tricky because I just want to sit here and make the perfect scene. But I also understand that you guys are busy and you don't need to see me like moving trees around. So let me just duplicate these a couple more times and then we'll call that a day. You can you can spend more time in your scene uh, creating whatever you guys want to do because um, I just want to show you and then have you do your own, uh, create your own magic. Okay, so this looks pretty good. We have our trees. Um, you know, it may be fun if we um, kind of lean them out a little bit so we get a little, kind of like they're really popping out like a, like a flower would out of, a, out of a bouquet of flowers. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Um, I like that, I think that looks cute. Um, okay, so now we have the trees. Um, we have to add our animals. I'll put two animals to the side here. Um, all these are super great animals, but who doesn't love a bear? So let's add a bear. Uh, we're gonna put him to the side here and we could probably scale him down just a little bit because that is a big bear if these are trees. So let's put him at, um, you know, we could just grab here. And since this is actually scale is locked, so this is a uniform scale lock. When I slide this, it'll actually scale him. So that looks good. So let's move him over here and let's add a deer on the other side. Oh, that's a big one. Um, so he's gonna come over here and I'm gonna scale him as well. So let's just grab the scale. Again, this, um, the lock uniform scale is on, so we're all good there. And let's just slide it down there. That looks great. Perfect. Now I'm gonna add some clouds above this guy. So let's add a cloud, nice puffy cloud. Oh, it looks so good. All right, so let's slide it over. Um, and I'm gonna add another cloud. I could just duplicate it here too. So I'll select the cloud and I'll duplicate it. All right, where'd it go? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait on the cloud because I wanna show you something. Um, when you duplicate with behaviors, it actually copies it. Um, next, I feel like we need a sun. So let's drop a sun in there. There's our wonderful sun. Um, let's move it back so it's not right on top of everything. Cool. And then last but not least, we have our messaging, right? So uh, remember I was saying you could add your, uh, you can add objects by clicking on this this add object or this plus thing here and navigating, or I just keep a window open uh, and I have my earthy day. This is my message, right? Have an earthy day. Um, you can have whatever you want. You can say happy birthday. You say um, whatever, happy arrow day. I'm gonna make this bigger and I'm gonna pull this up here. Uh, let's go even bigger than that. Have an earthy day. All right, looks good. Let me lower it just a little bit. Oh, this is just framing. You all can do whatever you want here. Make it look good, make it yours. Uh, bring in your own artwork. Um, yeah, just have some fun here. This is where it's all happening. So this is a good interactive card, right? We have a message, we have a cute little scene, we'll make it interactive. Um, and I'm gonna do another cloud here, but I just wanna show you something. All right, so this is our scene. Now, if we actually played this now uh, in here, nothing happens. 
because I have everything hidden. There's no triggers. It just looks really, really pretty. Um, so let's come back here. Um, we're going to go back to our box because what we want to do is we're going to hide all this stuff. So in the beginning is just our box, right? Um, so let's click on this. Um, and then all these are going to appear. So we're going to have some fun with this. We are going to select the box. Where's Mr. Box? Solid cube right here. Boom. And come down here to the behavior builder. Open that, open that up. And now you see this here. We want, after all this is shown, we want our scene to build. So we're going to come over here. Now, the way the, the behavior builder works, it goes left to right. Um, it's so it'll go play all these, then play this. These all play at the same time. This is linear, so this action will not start until this one's done. So let's come in here and we are going to say, I want to show. We're gonna do a lot of shows right now. And we'll just start going through. I'm gonna show the pine tree, okay? And I'm gonna have, um, let's just have a little bit of a delay. So maybe like 0.125, that's my favorite number today. And we'll have it ease in. And so what'll happen now, let's hide the cube. Uh, if I hit play, um, oh, actually, let me just grab, I don't have to hit play, just this one. Whoop. See, this is that tree in the back there. It goes, whoop, whoop, whoop. So that's cool. Now let's go back to our box. And we want to do it again. So we show the pine tree, we have a delay, we have an ease in, all good. So now we're going to do another show. And we want to have this one show. And we're going to do our next tree, pine tree two. This duration, let's go 0.1. We're just going to make them a little different. So they, you know, they pop in differently. Then we're going to say show. So I'm just going to accelerate through all this, uh, and, but you could do it at your own pace. You can you can show all your trees. Uh, I'll just speed it up here, and when we come back, we will start to have some real fun. <laughs>